Depending on how closely you follow the Crash Bandicoot series, you may or may not be aware of a project commonly referred to as Wumpa League. It was originally teased in Crash 4's 106% ending and in marketing for Crash 4 in November 2020. However, around this time, there were multiple projects killed at Toys for Bob, the developers of that game. The Wumpa League game was rumoured to have been put on hold as Toys for Bob shifted to supplement the development of Call of Duty. In 2021, Toys for Bob did confirm that they were working on Call of Duty, and this coincided with fans discovering a large amount of staff had left the company. The entire art department was more or less gone, including the art director of Crash 4, an executive producer, designers and more had also left. In the following months, I began to hear whispers that there were plans to continue the Wumpa League project, codenamed Project Lava in some form, and tweeted out some more details of it that I was familiar with. Eventually, in 2022, I was able to publicly share some more material from the project on Twitter, including a piece of art from the original development. Despite this, there remains a lot of uncertainty over what this game actually is. I've done my best to explain it, but I still get asked, what is Project Lava? What is Wumpa League? Today I hope to demystify that for good. I'm going to explain it all in this exclusive look at the game. However, I must explain to you that what you will see in this video is not necessarily representative of what any final product could look like or even include. This is early in development material not made for public consumption. I'm sharing it primarily for reasons of historical interest. With that out of the way, here's a key piece of art from the original development of the game that gives you an idea of what was planned before the end of 2020. It was a team-based competitive online multiplayer game where two teams of Crash characters compete to collect the most amount of Wumpa fruit possible. This gives you a look at some of the characters they had in mind as well. The whole Crash 4 roster was playable, plus some additions like Ripperoo and a handful of original characters like this cow. Many other characters outside of these were planned as well. The project basically used Crash 4's engine and assets as the basis for a multiplayer game with more open environments. Characters controlled the same way more or less, with a few additions to their repertoires. The most major of these is the glider. Every character would be equipped with a glider of their choosing, allowing them to traverse the wide open levels with greater ease. Players would explore the levels, collecting Wumpa fruit, and then dropping it off at their team's bank, adding to their total score. You could attack other players using, for instance, spin attacks to knock Wumpa out of them. Other players could also be KO'd with enough damage, or by knocking them off the levels or into certain hazards. Every level featured its own environmental gimmicks. In this one, the stage sits above an ocean of toxic water. Every so often the sea level would arise, forcing players to scale higher to survive. The game was planned to include a vast amount of different unlockable cosmetics for characters. This included skins and backpacks, which would determine what kind of glider the player would have available during gameplay. Skins could be upgraded over time, evolving them into more elaborate versions with more bells and whistles. The build you're seeing is very clearly years old. However, and again, is not representative of what the game could look like if it releases. What I will say is that I have now seen much more up-to-date images of the game that look much more complete, and that's partly what convinced me that we could still be seeing this game release in some form. Although I haven't been given permission to show those images yet, one of the characters shown in them was Catbat, a character that has been planned from early on. It was teased in some art you can find in Crash 4. As I've said before, this game was being scoped several years back, well before Crash 4 was even announced. It was being developed alongside it and was originally planned to release shortly after it did. My hope is that one day I will be giving you a more in-depth look at the game and its history once the bigger picture becomes clearer as part of my Game History Secret series on YouTube. Maybe once some version of this project materialises publicly, it will become possible to do so. Rest assured though that I have preserved a lot of material from this Toys for Bob project and a number of others. I hope to share more on that in the future. 
If you want to support the work I do, consider checking me out on Patreon or even just giving me a like and subscribe on here. That helps too. Thanks for watching and take care.